All right, so this is going to take a couple minutes to get through, but uh, sit back, grab your popcorn, let's get into this. So Sarah is um, on Facebook the other day, and a post pops up from my neighbor who uh, has a cat. Two cats, actually. The one cat, Tiamo, is trying to literally kill the other cat named Jazzy. She says it's gotten so bad that now she's going to have to rehome Tiamo, which she's had this cat for a long time. It's sad. So Sarah and I, you know, trying to be good neighbors, we're new to the neighborhood. We, we say that we'll take Tiamo into our house until things cool down, and then we'll try and reintegrate Jazzy and Tiamo back together. Happy ending, happy story. So that's what happens. We get Tiamo, we bring her into our house, and it turns out that she is very scared of people. Well, me. She's very scared of me because I am a scary man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I look scary? Tiamo, having never been around men in her life, is very, very scared of men. So she basically never comes out. She hides 24-7. It takes like 20 minutes to find her. She's very good at hiding, it turns out. I'm like looking under everything, under the couches, under the vanity. There's like a vanity with literally, the, and she's a she's a, a bigger cat. But one day Sarah comes back upstairs and she's like, Jordan, I, I, I can't find Tiamo anywhere. She's gone. She's literally gone. And I'm like, no, 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 let's, let's, let me, let me go downstairs, okay? I am the cat whisperer. I can find this cat anywhere. I'm always the one who finds her. I go downstairs. I search for 30 minutes. I, I cannot find this cat anywhere. She's gone. I look in every location. Vanity, couch, hot water heater. She loves the hot water heater for some Nowhere. Zero. Zilch. Nowhere to be found. I, I start to panic a little bit. Did we like leave a door open and she somehow slithered her way out? I mean, she can't fit in. No, no, she couldn't have, but she only spends time downstairs and we like never open up the downstairs door. So it's impossible. So I start to look everywhere and I notice that the the closet door that I've, I've always kept shut because I never wanted her to go in there, it, it's, it's slightly cracked open. Oh no. I go upstairs. Sarah, did the uh, cat open up the door downstairs, or was that you looking for the? She tells me that uh, it was that it was like that when she went down there. So I'm like, oh, well then she's in the closet. That's the only place that she could be. So I I run back downstairs. I'm like, oh Tiamo, here you're gonna be. Open up the door. Nothing there. Nothing. I move stuff around, looking around. Nothing. There's zero. She's not there. In my peripheral, I see a crack in the wall. Huh, never seen that before. How have I never noticed this crack in the wall? It's like the previous owners, they, they kind of jacked up the downstairs, so there's holes all around like the, the rooms, and they've just put these slats of wood up against it sometimes. It's a very interesting technique. So my mind is thinking, well, if I'm seeing this for the first time now, something had to have changed for me to notice it. So, I mean, the only thing I can think of is that the wood was pulled forward and something slithered its way in there. So I pull the board off the wall and I, I quickly see it's there's a small hole in the wall and underneath is, is the bottom of the bathtub. The closet butts up against the bathroom and so that's, that's, so I grab my phone and I push my arm into the hole as far as it can go. It's a very tight squeeze and I and I take some pictures with the flash on it. And then I see something. Turn up the brightness on my phone, zoom in, boom, there she is. Easy find, easy peasy. And so I'm like, oh dude, we got this. Sarah comes downstairs, we get a pole, we, we push the little pole like kind of through the bathtub area and try and fish her out. I get the camera again after we've attempted this. I snap a couple more pics and what do I see? She's gone. She's gone. She's she's nowhere to be found. Where 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 could she have gone? There's no there's no place to go. Where is she? I, I I pull out my phone. Sarah gives me a selfie stick. We attach the phone to it and we push it through the hole and we take some video to see if we can find her back there. Not long enough, so you get a, another attachment pole and you see you duct tape it together and then voila, you can finally see the cat. Except except you can't because she's not there. She's gone. Where the heck is she? I'm getting frustrated, you know? I'm taking video, my phone dropped off the selfie stick, and so I gotta attach the selfie stick to a pole and then put a coat hanger on the end of it so I can, that took another solid 20 minutes. But what I realized when I got the phone back there is that there's a potential way for her to get into the wall. I'm seeing studs, I'm seeing an entranceway into this abyss. But I'm also seeing a hole that leads to the foundation of the house. I don't really know what's down there, so it, maybe she- I don't know. So I go to the laundry room. It's it's the closet, the bathroom, and the laundry room. They're all kind of, you know, and I'm like, the only possible way that I will know for a fact that this cat did not go into this wall is if I, if, is if, 
I grab my knife and I start to, like a like a surgeon, cut this pretty ja jacked up hole through. And it I get my phone and what do I do? Boom, slide it in, record. Try and see if I can find her. And let me tell you, she she is not, she's not, it's, it's, she's not there. But what I am seeing is that there's a potential that she could have like slithered her way through the studs or something to get through the rest of the wall. And maybe she can't back up. Maybe she she can't get out. Maybe she's just. And let me tell you, this this cat. She doesn't eat or drink that much. She she eats and drinks it enough to, you know, stay alive, but it's not like she's she's doing herself any favors. So I'm like, you know what, if, if she was scared enough and then she, you know, ran away, what if she just dies back there? In my wall. My neighbor's cat that I'm trying to be nice and I kill her cat. So I'm literally, I'm freaking out. It, it's to the point where it's like kind of like losing sleep over this. I told my neighbor, I was like, look, all right, your cat's gone. My neighbor comes over and she starts calling the cat, like, you know, trying to be friendly and stuff. And the cat's not making any sounds. Zero. Not, not, not one meow. So I can tell she starts to get a little worried and she's not the kind of person to like get worried very easily. So I showed her what I did, you know, I, I cut through the drywall. I'm like, look, and I've got my selfie stick <laughs> and, and, and she can't, we can't find her. So she goes home. I'm left with a dead cat in the wall. I wake up the next day. This is the second day of this cat being gone, missing. No food, no water. You know, I'm, I'm trying to work up here. I, I can barely even think. Why do you think there's been no videos on this channel for a couple? All of a sudden, boom, it hits me. I have been filming down this entire time. What if I flipped it and filmed up? Cats go up when they're chased, they climb trees. When they're scared, they go up things. I flipped the camera. And what do I see? I see that there's a way that she could have got up into the roof. Now, this is a relief to me, okay? You don't understand. I thought this cat was gone. I thought she was dead. So I find another jacked up hole in the wall that the people slapped a board on, and I kind of pull it open, film, and it, sure enough, it looks like you really can get into the ceiling. With this information, I walk back from the laundry room to the closet, and I see something in there that I didn't see before. There is a gap between the ceiling and the, and the, and the wall. I can see in there. Now this hole is tiny so I can barely fit my arm in, but I do just enough to get some video. I'm looking for those big, those big glowing eyes that'll let me know that that's, that that's where she is. That's all that I want. Please just don't be dead, please God. I, I look around and what do I see? Boom, baby. Boom, baby, there you are. That's, that's all I wanted, that's all I needed to know. So all, all seems well and good, but the problem is I can't get to her and I can't talk her down So she hasn't eaten or drank in two and a half days at this point and she wasn't really eating that much before So I don't really know what's gonna happen. So I call up my neighbor and I'm like look, okay She's in the ceiling of my bathroom Um, so if you want to come over and try and talk her down So of course she does and uh, she she can't she can't talk her down. She meowed one time, which was a huge relief, but like she she couldn't she couldn't get her down. We're not exactly sure if she can fit through the, the wall and the ceiling. So I get the jigsaw and we cut. So that's that's two holes in the wall. Third day now, still hasn't come down. She's st she's still up there. My neighbor comes over after work and uh, tries to talk her down some more, and she finally comes, hops through the hole. Cat in hand, not not dead, thank God. What does she do? She immediately sees me, eye contact, books it out, starts peeing for, no joke, 15 seconds onto the wall. She hasn't gone to the bathroom in over three days, okay? I am, th I'm so thankful she did not pee in the ceiling because we would have had to done some serious. Um. Anyway, so I, I put a bunch of stuff in front of these closet doors so that there's no possible way that she can get back in there and this whole fiasco happen again. You know, I, I'm putting ladders, boxes. I even put a vacuum cleaner in front of one of them. The next day, Sarah goes downstairs, comes back up in a panic. Jordan, she moved the vacuum cleaner. She's back up in the ceiling once again. My neighbor is on vacation, okay? Thanksgiving, she's on vacation, she's gone. So that's where Tiamo is right now, in the ceiling, probably peeing. How's your week going? Hey everybody, if you follow me on Anchor, you've already heard this story. I've been updating everybody on there for the past like four days. If you want everyday life updates like this, I post every single day, so go follow me over there. It is now my favorite social media since Twitter added another 140 characters. All right, I'll see you later.